Now we're going to start part two of our weaving project. And in part one, we went ahead and warped our loom. Now we're going to start weaving. So I'm going to get to choose what thread I want. We're going to start with just one color for now, but later we'll be able to use different colors and mix and match. I've chosen this neon green so you'll be able to see where my thread is going. And I went ahead and threaded my needle. These are just blunt needles. Make sure you're safe with them. And I am just going to, for now, tie a little knot and leave it like that. So that hopefully when I pull, it won't come undone when I'm trying to weave. So I'm using the needle to help me out. You don't actually have to use one. You can use your fingers, but it will take a lot longer. So I'm going to start on my left side, and I'm going to go to the right. And when I start on my left side, I want to go under my white thread. So when I go left to right, I'm going to go under white. So left, I'm going under white, I'm going under white, I'm going under white, under white, under white, under white, all the way across. When I made it all the way across with this first thread, I'm going to pull it until the end lines up with the end of my cardboard for this one. And then I want to push this all the way to the very top. This is going to be the end of my weaving. So it's going to be at the very top. And I've got it going off the cardboard just a little bit. That is fine. Just make sure it's all the way at the top across. So I went under white and I went over yellow. Now when I go back, I'm going to do the exact opposite. So left to right, I went under white. Right to left, I'm going to go under yellow. So over white, under yellow. 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 I'm going to go all the way across. Now, there are two things you need to look out for. So if I push this all the way up, the first is that I don't have any loops. I don't even want a little loop. I want it to be aligned with this very last string. Some people pull to make it tighter, and then they start to pull and pull and pull and pull and pull. Can you guys see how already this string is being pulled over? And if you continue that, your weaving is going to start to look like this. And it's not going to be even. We don't want to pull it tight. We just want it to line up with that last string so that last string can stay straight. So once you have it and it's lined up, your second row is done. You can go back. And now we're going under what? White, because we're going to the right. So pull up and go under the right white ones. Sometimes I do multiple at a time. It will take less time. Again, don't leave any loops. And don't pull it too tight. Push it all the way to the top. Now, I need to go under yellow. Once you do this a couple times, you'll get the hang of it. I like to push it up and then I move it over. When you run out of string, so I'm going to do one more and I'm going to pretend like I ran out of string. We're going to cut it off of our needle and then we'll be able to do a different color. So when I run out of this, oh, I pulled that one too tight. Let's say my needle was all the way up here. Then I'm just going to cut it off. And for this project, I just want you guys to leave it on the end. 
and then you'd be able to then untie the little short piece that would be left on here. It wouldn't be this long, but you could untie it, take it off your needle, and then you could go get a new color, and you could start with the new color. So that is how you do a basic weaving. Next time in part three, I'm going to show you how to do more detailed patterns when you're weaving.